dog is watching me. Hi, Tim. <laughs> He's like thinking, what the hell are you doing, you stupid human? <laughs> Talking to a camera. Hey, Pixie here. And first of all, I want to say thank you for those of you who have subscribed and liked and commented on my videos. Thank you for joining me in this journey. That's basically it. Um, so let's get right to the video. This is how I store my pearl beads. So first up, I have this awesome shelf right here. I'll just put it over my face. Hopefully you can still hear me. It's a really, really handy shelf um, because you can store about 3,000 beads in the one shelf and there's 20 drawers that you can use. It's a time saver. So rather than me pick through and look through, um, you know, 3,000 beads but different colors, I can just go through my shelf and then just pick the colors that I need and do it that way. So I'm, I'm time saving as well. So next up I have these little containers. Um, they're really, really cool. They're really handy because they're, they're like the smaller version of the shelf but flatter form and I really enjoy the slits of this. I really enjoy the slits. I like this particular container because the slits, you can't actually adjust the slits and I prefer it that way because there's nothing worse than having like, for instance, this color, this green color, can you see it? That green color right there, if you're trying to get like a bunch of them and the slits sli slice and the slits slightly move and then the beads go underneath and the colors get mixed up. So I prefer something like that doesn't move so that they're more secure. So that's a tongue twister for you. Okay, so next up I have where I put all my boards. I have my boards in this little container right here. So you can carry it. I find what's really handy about this container is that you can open it with the little slits. They've come really handy with the slits. And it stores all different types of boards, including my square connector boards. And I have about, I think there's 14 of them my big circle boards and some other random boards. So this is quite handy. So you can store it and they feel pretty secure. And next up I have this random tub of beads. Now the reason why I've actually put them in little plastic bags is because um, these are actually different colors from all the colors that I have. So the container that I just showed you, it doesn't fit all of these colors and I really don't want to be carrying like five of those so rather than doing that I've put them in these little in these little bags and I've just put them in these bags that's all all right some other stuff I've got this thing of beads here um what you'll find is most pearl beaders all around the world maybe yourself and if you're thinking of doing this as a hobby um keep they keep all their jars so I've kept all my jars as you can see this is actually a honey jar a honey jar but because it's so handy and it's so big and it's got a little handle and a secure lid I've kept it to put all my beads in it finally I have this huge box right here and it's just an A4 box um, usual box and it's just got random stuff in it so that box usually just stays somewhere in my room and then like with my blue drawers if I'm running out of black that's where I go to that box because I've just bought like 6,000 black beads because if you're a pearler you would know that black is probably the most used color of all colors that you buy so stock up so that's how I store my pearler beads it's just the way I've stored them and color coded them and put them in different containers and drawers it just helps to save time thanks again for watching and supporting me in this journey. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment and I will see you guys in the next video. Have an itchy nose.